okay, Victoria? Oh, Sammy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. No. Au revoir. I Victoria probably played me. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Don't you know that I'll be around to guide you through your weakest moments to be behind you, turning nightmares only shadows. Cast some light. Organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get
it out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julian. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room videos. because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you, you find out? out uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yeah. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will... How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're... You are ridiculous. Juliet Watson, you... I'm flattered. I... Uh, of course I do. Thanks. If you don't I'll... let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana... According to Victoria... She saw the sex. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who- Man, people here are merciless. Ugh. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Welcome to Black Hill. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. I'll give Victoria props for not posting. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. 
Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. This shit. Ow, that hurt. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone.
hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little missensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira at the Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescott's own this shithole. 
Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, oh, I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up, and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step-fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. 
Put on some music while I medicate. It won't play without any power. She looks super happy. She looks... she looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. We had such a blast drawing these together. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room.
Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. it from the other side. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For real? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Wow, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Wow, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. fingers. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Yes, score. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get?
Nothing. This is so lame. Cool, now it's opened. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. I guess they're aging, these books. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. You got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. Serious. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass.
Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. No need to go there now. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. These are way too big. I need time. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Feel autumn pushing out to summer. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. So tranquil here, like a Japanese garden in Oregon. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this.
Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. I'd love to 